Heaven's California. Hey guys, um, today I have a suggestion from I don't know yet, but but basically while I'm waiting for that, I'll let you know what it's called. So it's it's definitely a different video than I normally react to. Ten things you didn't know about Japanese school. So I was like, really? That's kind of a weird suggestion. But I mean, whatever. You know, it doesn't matter what kind of suggestion it is. Just like. Um, so copycat mm, 79, good video, I'm gonna let my cat out because she probably wants to leave. Yeah, I, I definitely did not expect this video. Um, again, nothing about against Japanese or Japanese school, I just didn't uh, expect that. But yeah, so I got something for you to react to, happy face with links, so of course, yeah, I'm doing that now. It's only, it's only about five minutes long. This should be interesting because obviously I don't know any, anything about Japanese schools in general. I don't know any, any anything about any kind of school, like in any kind of country, other other countries. So it's ought to, ought to be interesting. Um, so yeah, let's just. Get, I guess this is like a fact video type of thing. I don't know. I'm assuming you're wanting me to see this because it's maybe interesting or maybe something I wouldn't expect or something. I don't know. My hair's all messy. Don't mind that. And before I get into this video, if you are new, make sure to subscribe. I'm on, I'm on my way to 2K. I'm almost at 1.7k, which is really good, but I'm still on my way to 2k. That's my main goal right now. So let's try to get there, especially if you're not subscribed. Please, please, please subscribe if you like my videos, and let's get into this. Facts First presents 10 Things You Didn't Know About Japanese Schools. Again, I don't know anything, so this ought to be interesting. Number one, hairstyle requirements. Really? In most countries, you can wear your hair in any style that you want. Girls can wear their hair up or down, and boys can let their hair grow as long as they like. This is not the case in Japan. Boys are required to keep their hair cut close to their ears. They cannot have any layers in their hair, and you're not allowed to style your hair or use any styling products. The rules for girls are more relaxed, and they can wear their hair however they want. They cannot, however, shave their legs, wear makeup, or wear nail polish. These rules are in place because educators believe that these students should focus on school and not their appearance. Number two, romantic relationships. This is one of the most peculiar of all things you didn't know about Japanese schools. Most people meet their first boyfriend or girlfriend while they're in school. Exactly. These relationships often lead to messy, drama-filled breakups, that but you true. can get some dating experience under your belt. That is true. If you're going to school in Japan, you don't have the option to date. Relationships are banned in Japanese schools because they are considered to be a distraction. Wow. Number three, school lunch. In most schools, you have the option when it comes to school lunch. Many schools serve hot and cold lunches so that students can choose what they like best. Students are also allowed to bring lunch from home so they can be sure that they will like what they eat. Okay. In some schools, you can leave the school grounds to go to a local restaurant. If you go to school in Japan, you don't have any options at all. All of the students eat the exact same meal. They don't eat in the cafeteria. Rather, they sit at their classroom desk. The regular school lunch consists of either rice, fish, or soup. If Japanese students don't finish all of their lunch, they are punished. Number four. What? Janitorial duties. Most schools have janitors who work during the day to clean up messes. They stay late each day to clean the whole school after the students have left. This is not the case in Japanese schools. Students and teachers take turns sweeping, washing floors, cleaning the bathrooms, and taking out the trash. No. Because students know that they will be the ones cleaning the school, they are careful not to make a mess. I would say that is smart though, that is kind of smart. Substitute teachers. In most schools, if a teacher is sick, a substitute teacher is called in to take over the class. In Japan, they don't have substitute teachers. If the teacher is sick, the students are expected to sit quietly in their classroom and teach themselves. This what? is not a possibility in U.S. schools, as leaving 30 teenagers to take care of themselves could lead to a disaster. That's not going to end up well. Number six, self-defense. In Japanese schools, the students are taught to defend themselves against intruders. They use a special weapon called the Sassy Martyr. It is adapted from an ancient samurai weapon and is a pole with two prongs on the end. It's designed to immobilize the intruder and is found hanging on the walls in all schools in Japan. Wow. Number seven, greetings. Part of the Japanese core culture are greetings. The same is true in schools. At the beginning and the end of each school day, students are required to stand up and bow to their teacher in unison. 
Some Japanese schools start the day with meditation to get the students ready to concentrate. Number 8. Absenteeism and Punctuality In Japan, students are not allowed to be late or miss a class unless they have an excellent reason. While these things are very important, it doesn't end there. You won't see students staring at the clock waiting for the class to end. Most will stay late for extra help, extra classes, or after-school workshops. Number nine. Not right, I'm out of there. <laughs> Every student in Japan is required to wear a uniform to school. Even the boys schools? wear a high-collared black suit, and the girls wear a pleated skirt and a sailor blouse. Students who attempt to attend school out of uniform are sent home and punished when they return to school. Also, their uniforms must always be clean and pressed. Number 10. Breaks. In Japan, students get five weeks for their summer break. Unlike schools in the U.S., the summer break is during the middle of the school year rather than at the end. During their summer breaks, they don't take family vacations or spend their time playing video games. They attend various classes and workshops during their breaks. No. This is likely the reason that Japan is ranked fourth on the list of the best math and science students in the world. Subscribe for more. Me? Oh, uh, well, uh, I, I took seven years to get through two years of junior college, so, uh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm not Japanese. <laughs> Alright then, um, that was definitely an interesting video. Now, I'm actually kind of glad I watched that. I didn't expect that. What? Like, half that shit I would not do, so I'll, I'll probably be punished every day all day because I would not do that shit. No. <clears throat> no. I know in Catholic schools you and you usually have to wear a uniform, but like public schools, like I go to college, like obviously you don't wear any uniforms. Is that the same thing for college and university in Japan, or like how is that, you know, like how is that even... Like how does that work, you know what I mean? Like I don't... That's weird though, wow. Like you can't shave your legs? What? That's weird. Like that's, that's your body, you can do whatever you want, okay, yeah. Like who the hell is the school to tell you, you know what, you, your hair has to be up to here, and if it's here, like you're gone. I would probably lose my shit, like that is interesting, I will say. But I, will, I would lose my shit. Yeah, normally it's just like janitors and also that type of stuff. If you have to clean it yourself, no, I would not stay with that. No. I never make a mess anyway, so like, why the hell would I clean up someone else on this mess? No. I mean, that's probably the janitors. Why they're thinking, she like, wait, this is my job. But like, what the hell? I, I didn't make this mess. Why the hell do I gotta go out to clean it, you know? Oh, wow. <clears throat> if you have any other, any, any other suggestions about like 10 things you didn't know about whatever, or things you didn't know about this, or things you didn't know about that, definitely suggest those and I'll definitely react to them because that was definitely interesting. Did not expect that at all. But definitely a good su a suggestion. I'm just kind of like mad at some of those things. Cause like, what? Like, what if you're allergic to some foods and then you can't eat it? Oh, sorry, you have to eat it. And then if you don't finish it, you get punished. Like, I'm not. I'm not gonna judge, but like, wow, you know, just cause like, obviously, I'm in Canada. You guys are most likely in America. The majority of my viewers are in, are in, are in America, actually. So like, can you imagine, like, the fact that you wouldn't be able to like, do half the shit you do now, and then you have to clean up after yourself, like. Like, you know, like the floor, like sweep it, mop it, no. Or like eat, eat the same thing, uniforms and everything, no. Not fam. Mm -mm. I will say the, the cleaning up after yourself is kind of smart because then it's kind of like, at least the students will make a mess because then they, 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 they know they have to clean it. So I will admit that's actually kind of smart. Do not think about that at all, but definitely pretty smart. But the other ones, no, like your hair a certain way, like, you know, no. Like, you can't style it. Like, my hair's like this all the time, usually. So, what they're going to say, make it flat like this? Because I'm going to say, no, like, look how retarded I look right now. Like, no, it's not happening. So, I don't know. But that's definitely interesting. If you have, if you have any more of these videos, definitely suggest them, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <clears throat> As always, thanks for watching, and be sure to share. I, I never say share, but like, comment, subscribe, and share. Definitely, most importantly, subscribe, because I'm, I'm on the way to 2K. <clears throat> and I really want to get there ASAP. Um, yeah, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.